Stevie Langtree Park this Friday night, a place that has uh, pretty special memories for you down the years. Yeah, yeah, it does. Um, obviously, we everyone had red hair and it were comic relief and on my debut, so it's a big day that and one that I won't forget for a long time. And uh, you know, there's more pleasant ones we we got to win there the other year as well. So there's a mixed bag, you know, there and it's it's a um, it's it's a challenge in itself playing St Islands and, and over in their backyard. It's it's something else and it's one of those games where the the whole week is a build up and and especially before the game you know the nerves and excitement and then hopefully if you get the result you know you've got you've got a really good feeling for after the game so we'll see how we go this week it does feel like a, a special a different game this week is it yeah I mean off the back of Easter you know it's been really tough and it's relentless this season you know with with the fixtures and you know it's one of those games what where you you, you get the the energy out of tank really and you can you can find that energy. Um, you know, it's going to be a really good game, and I think for the neutral, the neutral supporters, you know, it's going to be one to watch. I think. Saints, like ourselves, have got a great track record of bringing through young players. There's a lot of players in, in their squad who've probably known for for a long time. Yeah, yeah. There's a there's a good friend of mine, uh, Mark Percival, who's over there at centre. He's, he's injured at the minute, um, but you know, there's there's a lot of young players coming through there, and they're really, you know, they're they're in kind of a similar stage to us, and you know, they seem to be coping well with it. So. It's going to be a, it's going to be a bit of a, bit of a different different occasion. I think for for Super League and, you know, I think there's the you know a lot of spoke about their forwards and hopefully we can match them and you know play how we play and you know see where we go. Luke Walsh made his comeback uh, uh, against Huddersfield. Uh, he's going to be a key man for them. It'll give them a lift this week to see him back in Saint Helens. Definitely, you know, he gives a lot of direction to to Saint Helens. Um, you know, they've done they've, they've managed well without him, but you know he's got that extra bit, you know, and that. Bit of uh, off the cuff play that that really helps him, and the way they play, you know, he can direct them and, and use their plays to to cause some damage. So we're gonna have to be, you know, wary of, of Luke Walsh coming back into the side as well. In terms of your own form, it's be delighted how how it started. Do you feel yourself getting stronger with each game? Yeah, I think I'm always trying to improve on in different stuff. You know, I'm, I'm always trying to do extra bits to 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 iron out out bits in the game. So you know, if I keep improving in them, you know, and I just need to make sure I stay, you know, you know, grounded with it all, and and keep and keep going with it, and keep focused because, you know, it's a it's a long season, and you know, it's a long way till till any final or till any any games, and I need to make sure I'm in the mix for for games like that, and like you say, if if I keep getting stronger and, and stuff like that, it's um, it's only going to help me in, in the long run, I think. You mentioned about finals there. Obviously, you missed out on on Wembley last year. Is that something that's that's really sort of lit a fire within you for this season? Uh, yeah, I think just the main thing we just wanted to get back to my best. Really, that was the main goal for me, um, and the Wembley thing kind of capped it off, um, missing that. But obviously, the lads won, and it was a great occasion for everyone. So, you know, it's it's one of those things where you just got to get on with it. And you know, there were a long pre-season off the back of that, which I had to work hard for. Um, you know, but that, that's the main thing in rugby league. It's not always easy, and you know there's there's been some tough times but you know when when you're playing week in week out when we're winning coming into training with smile on the faces it's it's good for four of the super league team the, the road to Wembley begins this weekend uh, some interesting matches up there between the championship and super it'd be interesting to see especially mindful of uh, the super, super race at the end of the season how those games go this weekend yeah yeah it's i mean like you say you know there's going to be teams tested out from branched across the championship and super league so it's going to be a, an interesting one uh, you know it's it's it just, it just. I suppose it puts it in the water for for later on in the year, just to see how they they fare with the games. And you know, I've seen some of the championship rugby this year. They're looking strong, and and Leah are a standout, a standout team. So you know, it's going to be interesting to see how that game goes against Salford on Saturday.